hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day today i am going to do something a little bit different in my planner i took some scrapbooking paper from the page evans collection i'll link the collection below i can't remember which one go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well and so i'm starting off with a photo collage i think i did eight photos and then i'm cutting them down i think i did 10 photos <laughs> So uh, right now I'm cutting them down and they're they're different sizes. So I just printed 10 photos on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And then I'm gonna go through and add them to the paper that I cut down to the size of my planner. And I'm gonna embellish them with embellishments from the same Paige Evans collection. Now I'm just gonna take the pieces that I cut down and arrange the photos how I want them. Looking back, I wish I would have printed this out with a white border. So if I do this style again, that's what I'll do. Either put it on white cardstock and cut around it or print it out to where it has a white border on it. Now I'm deciding which die cut set I want to use and I decided on the floral pack. I went ahead and glued down the cards to the front side and then for the back side I'm choosing which floors I want to use and then I'm going to play with the arrangement and cut down some of them to kind of spread out the florals because these die cuts are pretty big. I'm just making sure that I want to cut them before I go ahead and do it. So I cut them down and arrange them and I love how it looks spread out throughout the page. I'm going to go ahead and glue them down making sure that I don't use too much glue because this glue is really sticky and I don't want my planner pages to stick to each other. Okay, I love the way that looks so I'm going to flip everything around and do the same thing to the back, cut down the florals that I need cut down and arrange them to where everything is balanced out. I'm going to cut off any pieces that are hanging over just so they're not poking out of my planner. And once I'm done with everything, I'm going to go ahead and punch holes in it with my hole punch that I purchased from Michaels. Michaels. 
And there we go. I love the way these turned out. This was something different, but fun. I have a lot of scrapbooking paper in my craft room, so it was fun to be able to use these. I haven't scrapbooked in a long time just because it's time consuming. So, so it was a lot of fun to pull from my stash and combine both of my hobbies. And here is a flip through of how everything turned out. I love the way it looks in my planner. And I'm thinking about doing this for the holidays. So I think it'd be fun to have different fall themes, Halloween themes, Christmas themes. And it's just a fun and easy way to jazz up your planner and a great way to use a lot of photos throughout your planner without bulking it up too much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, if you guys decide to do this method. I would love to see how it came out. So tag me on my Instagram at crafty underscore Loretta, or you can send me a message. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.